For this video, I'll be using the drone feature in VRC Lens. Enable VRC Lens. Enable the monitor and horizon. Turn off the depth of field effect. Turn off auto exposure. Enable direct cast. Enable hand rotate to rotate the drone with the right hand. Open the move camera controls on the left hand. I'm using both controls to fly the drone. It is easier to turn when sitting in a computer chair. To make the drone rotate more smoothly, you can adjust the constraint settings on the lens rotate and drone rotate objects in your avatar. To smooth the motion of the drone, Adjust the constraint on the drone base. Add a new constraint to the cam object referencing itself. The drone base constraint setting will need to be adjusted in the animation files. In the drop enable animation, lower the weight of index 1. Do the same for the hard drop enable animation. The drone will now rotate and move more smoothly. The vertical movement of the drone can be controlled by making the finger point gesture with the right hand. This can be modified here. Advanced users of Unity can disable this and create a new variable to control the vertical movement. I have modified the blend tree to allow three dimensional movement of the drone using both joysticks. You can check out Neomancer's Twitter account to find good places for filming. Since VRChat's frame rate is less than the capture frame rate, there are duplicated frames in the video. I'll use the FFmpeg MP Decimate filter to remove these frames. This will make the video slightly faster. I'll use flow frames to add motion blur to the video. Set the interpolation to 8, and in the developer options use the tmix filter to blend these 8 frames together. VRChat has blocked post-processing on avatar cameras, so I'll do the post-processing in DaVinci. I'm using an image taken from the native camera to compare to the look of the video. Set the timeline resolution and frame rate. In the Fusion page, add Sharpen, Glow, Prism Blur. On the color page, open the HDR color wheels and drag the shadows towards the blue. Dark and light can also be adjusted. I'm increasing the contrast using the color curves and I'll reduce the saturation. I can view the before and after images by using the bypass filters button. I'll add a title to the video. And render it.
Thank you.